Checking your blood pressure at home is very important in the management of hypertension. You can easily check your blood pressure with digital BP monitor at home. While using digital blood pressure monitor to get the most accurate BP readings, avoid some activities. Like avoid taking shower before BP measurement because it will affect the BP readings. Taking BP readings immediately after a meal will show high BP readings. Drinking coffee, tea or caffeine containing drinks can increase BP and you will get high BP readings. Smoking a cigarette or even the nicotine containing e-cigarette can increase the blood pressure and you will get the high BP readings. Exercise and inside home activities increase the blood pressure and you will get high BP result by using digital blood pressure monitors. The correct way to take a BP readings rest in your room at least for 30 minutes and then measure the blood pressure. While taking blood pressure at home by using a digital blood pressure monitor, keep the BP monitor on the table and sit on the chair. Sit relax and even keep your legs unstretched. Rip the arm cuff around the arm properly as shown in this video. If you measure BP with left arm, rip arm cuff around the arm as shown in the video. Keep the cuff above the elbow at least 2 to 3 cm and also keep the tube in the middle of your hand running down to palm or middle finger. The most important to keep the arm cuff aligned to the heart position. Now press the start button of the BP machine and the BP device will start measurement of blood pressure. You get readings of systolic, diastolic and MMHG. You will also get here the pulse rate. The OK green button in the device showing that the arm cuff is wrapped correctly. If it is too tight or loose, the color of the OK button will be yellow or red. If you think your BP monitor gives the wrong result, then you can measure BP again with at least 15 minutes interval. Adjust the arm cuff as you can see by keeping finger between arm and cuff can show your cuff is not wrapped too tight. Sometimes you can get difference in the BP readings because maybe the cuff is wrapped too tight or loose. Let me explain you one thing here. If you are measuring blood pressure for the first thing with the digital BP monitors and you get high BP readings, so you cannot use any medication for, for that high blood pressure to make it low. Because hypertension is only diagnosed in the hospital settings and only in the clinician office. For some people, left arm is showing high blood pressure. So how to take arm cuff on the left hand, you can see in the video. Take the arm cuff on the left hand and wrap it properly. As you can see, two centimeter above the elbow and make sure you tight it properly, not too tight or not too loose by keeping finger inside you can check the looseness and tightness of the arm cuff 
Now here the most important thing you have to keep the tube in the inner side of your but not in the middle of your hand. As you can see we started BP measurement here. So we will get a different BP result in the left hand side. To know which of your hand is suitable for BP monitoring. So measure BP with the right hand and if you get high BP result so you will use the right hand for beefy monitoring and the same if you measure beefy with the left hand and you get high beefy result with the left hand so you will use the left hand for beefy measurement the best way to consult with your physician and he will quickly assess which of your hand is suitable for beefy monitoring as you can see here we get a different beefy result for our right hand as we know, the blood pressure is expressed in two readings, in the systolic and the diastolic. So here if the systolic is less than 120 mmHg and the diastolic is less than 80 mmHg, so that will be considered as normal blood pressure. But if the diastolic is from 120 to 129, and the diastolic is even less than 80 so it will be considered elevated blood pressure if the systolic is from 130 to 139 and the diastolic is from 80 to 89 so that will be considered as high blood pressure and hypertension stage 1 systolic increases from 140 are the diastolic even increases more than 90 so it will be considered high blood pressure the same blood pressure more than 160 to 180 is considered as hypertensive crisis but blood pressure normal range also depends on the age and body weight also in my next videos I will discuss in detail about that one if you are still watching this video so please give a thumb up to this video and share with your friends and family maybe it can help someone to monitor their blood pressure properly and correctly and please watch my more videos about the blood pressure monitors specifically Omron M7, Omron Evolve, Omron M3 also and if you can subscribe to the channel that will be much more appreciated stay safe and healthy